Okay, hello. Hey guys. Uh, in this video, I will show you how to hook up your uh, Roland Juno 106 to uh, Reason 7. So, like, you, you can control the faders too. Like, uh, usually, if you, if, you, if you just connect it like, directly to Reason, you can only like uh, send MIDI notes and you can, you can play the notes and maybe use the bender but you can't control the faders but in this video I will show you how you will be able to control the faders too and like expand the capabilities of, uh, of the, like the, the sonic capabilities of Juno 106 and the progress you will need is loop MIDI, MIDI OX and VSTO Juno 106 editor it costs like $60 and the first thing you will have to do is create a loop pack mini port and I will call this one Juno 106 and I will press plus then I'll, you can you will start have to start MIDI OX and you will go into MIDI devices press this loop pack mini in MIDI inputs and in MIDI outputs you want to select TC near and Juno 106 and press OK then you're supposed to go in here to port routing and the MIDI OX event port is connected correctly here TC near and Juno 106 and I forgot to tell you like the TC near that is where I have like the MIDI connections to my Juno 106 so this is like my my MIDI connection to my computer. And I will just pull this one here. So like the this is sending MIDI signals to the TC near too. And the next thing you want to do is start the VSTR Juno 106 editor. And the first thing you need to do is go into device settings and in the device I'm not sure. Maybe this is different than others, but like here, I have shoes, and this is my uh, the the TC nearest where I have like hooked up the MIDI cables to like the Juno. So we'll have this one selected in devices and active MIDI ports. Uh, you're suppo supposed to choose the uh, the Loopback MIDI ports, which is Juno 106, and not the TC near where. I have like the real hardware connection MIDI connection, but I want the Juno 106 MIDI loopback ports. And then, oops, then I will go in here and make sure that you have like uh, just copy these settings, like where I have like I, in MIDI ports here, you're supposed to have like the TC near, where which is the one you have like hooked. The hardware hook MIDI inputs and outputs, and I've chosen MIDI channel one because that's the channel I use. And I haven't really yet to learn what all these buttons do, but like this seems to work. So just copy this, and to check that the program is receiving. Oh, I have to turn. It's important to turn on your Juno. You see here. I'm receiving MIDI signal, uh, syntax signals from my uh, Juno 106 and it's moving the faders and I can also send uh, signals to it. So it seems to work. And so now we're going to start Reason. Okay, now we're inside Reason and now let's have some fun. And the first thing we want to do is get some sound from the Juno into a reason. This is my song. Uh, yeah, we got a sound. And then we create an external MIDI instrument and we choose the Juno 106, which is our loopback. Yep, and let's set up a sequencer. Gate in, node in, and
Okay, and now we want to start to control like maybe the frequency. Then we'll start here, and I think the filter cutoff is here. Frequency. So uh, we can create a pulsar and put in the CVN. If we want, and if we want to control something else, put it in a combinator and take. Let's put this one, the other LFO2 in CV1, put ME CV1, and maybe we can put this one in uh, in the end. Let's see what what this one controls on. Yes, uh, resonance. And I want more of that resonance Twitter. Maybe I want this one to be lower. And so <coughs> this is my guide on how to set up to control the faders on your Juno 106. And like and subscribe and comment if you like this tutorial. And yeah, see you around. Just want to show you like another cool example of what you can do with this. Like here I'm automating the pulse width and the resonance which would be impossible like without this program and reason. So and I'm also using out the theory for the chords. Just listen to this. I'm <laughs> sorry.